Hello everyone! In today's video, we'll do a mini project with a Raspberry Pi to turn on an LED every time we press a button in a browser, powered by Flask. In this video, first we'll look at the architecture of today's demo. Then we'll look at all the Raspberry Pi components needed to do this project. And finally, we'll get straight to the interactive demo, in which first, we'll connect the hardware circuit needed for the Pi. Then we'll make our Flask web application. Finally, we'll connect our web application to the Raspberry Pi. So first, let's see the architecture of what we'll do in today's demo. So we'll create an HTML file with a switch button, having on and off buttons that trigger on and off actions through a Python script. This in turn will trigger a Raspberry Pi sensor action to turn the LED on or off. We'll also integrate this with the Flask application to make it available on a browser. Now before we get to the demo, let's look at all the components we'll need. First and foremost, we'll need a Raspberry Pi. I'm using the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, but any model will work. You'll also need a GPIO extension board and a breadboard. You don't really need these, but they help you connect all the circuits together. Without them, you'll need to solder all the sensors to the GPIO itself. And finally, we'll need an LED. You can use either an RGB LED or a dual color LED, but I'm using the dual color LED because there's simpler code. And we're also gonna need some jumper cables to connect all this together. The circuit for today's demo is quite simple. I'm sure you'll find it anywhere on the internet, instructions on how to do this circuit. You just have to connect the dual color LED, this is the dual color LED, and some jumper cables here. And yeah, that's the circuit. Now let's get on to the coding of the web application. Without further ado, let's get on into the demo. So I'll just remote into my Raspberry Pi using VNC Viewer. So here it is, Raspberry Pi. And it's asking me for a password, so I'll just enter it in. Okay, it connected to a Raspberry Pi. Alright, so I already have opened up my folder structure. Here we have application.py because we're using a Flask app. Here's the hierarchy of our folder structure. We have our parent folder, which is called Flask app. And inside of that, we have app application.py. For most Flask applications, the Python file is either called app.py or application.py. Then we have another f directory inside of Flask app called templates. Inside of that, we have on.html and off.html, and I'll explain those. So application.py is empty right now. We'll code that. And on.html and off.html, right now they're the exact same, and you'll see why we needed two files later on in the video. So let's say we're gonna edit on.html, okay? So this just contains a little toggle switch and I've defined some inline CSS. So let's check it out in the browser. This is the same as for off.html, it also has a toggle switch. So let's open it up. Let's use off.html. And here it says LED on off switch. And if we click this, then it has a nice little animation. Okay. So this is what we're gonna use to turn on and off the LED. Now we can code our Flask application. So I'll go to my application.py so that we can code our Flask app. And first I'm just gonna paste in this code. So first we're just importing Flask and render template from Flask and the rpi.gpio as gpio so that we can connect to our Raspberry Pi's general purpose input output. This app variable, that's just initializing our Flask web application. Now we can initialize our GPIO and our pins. So let me paste in that code as well. Here we go. This is just initializing the pins and the GPIO. Now I'll paste in two more functions that are needed to set the LED values. I'm just going quick on the topics that are not so needed, then we'll go slower on the actual Flask app. So here we're just setting up the LEDs. If you're new to Flask and routes, you should check out my other video on purely on Flask. But first route we're gonna make, we're not gonna have a default route for this Flask app. We're just gonna go straight to an on route and an off route. So I'll say at app.route and then, and inside of that, it should be on or slash on, sorry. Slash on. 
So if they go to our Flask application slash on, then it should turn on the LED. So we're going to define a function. So def, I'll call it on. I'll call the function on. And inside of that, we want to run the code for turning on our light. So here is that code. Here, wait, let me take out this indent. This will just start the lights, but I want to set the color of the light also. So how I can do that is by saying set color and then the hex code for our color. In this case, let's say I wanted it to be just pure red. I can say 0x and then ff00. That's the hex code for the red color. And now I want to render our index.html, I mean, sorry. Now I want to render our on.html, which has our slider switch. Right now, the slider switch won't do anything, but we'll make it do something after a bit. So I'll say return render template, render underscore template. This is why we imported it at the top. Render template and then index.html. Or no, sorry, on.html. Okay, now if we save this, then we can do the same thing for off, except instead of starting the LED light, we have to turn it off. So that we can turn off the LED, I'll make another route called off. So at app.route, and then in parentheses, here, slash off instead of slash on this time. And we're gonna define another function, I'll call it off. Define off. Okay, there. Inside of that, I'll paste in some code. So this is kind of like the same code that we did for turning it on, p underscore r dot start, but instead it's p underscore r dot stop, just so that we can turn off the LEDs. And then this gpio.output pins gpio.low. This will just turn off the connection to the LEDs from the GPIO. And the final thing we'll need to do is render template the off.html. So I'll say return render template, underscore template. And then inside of that, off.html off.html. Okay, here, let me save this. Now if we ran this code and we went to slash on our Flask application and then slash on, it would turn on the LED. And if we went to slash off, then it would turn off the LED. But I want to make that happen using the switch in the HTML pages. So let's make that happen. So right now our HTML pages are not connected to each other. When the when the button is in the off status and the user clicks the button again, they intend to turn it on. So we have to redirect them to the on route and vice versa. So let's do that. All right, so first I'm gonna edit off.html since the switch is by default off. So I'm gonna wrap all these around a form tag so that I can make an action that goes to on.html. So I'll make a form tag here. And here it already gives us an action. So I'm gonna copy this in the end so that I can wrap the whole thing around the form. Okay, so the form action should be on.html so that once we click it, it should turn the light on. Now in the input type checkbox, we want to submit the form so that it goes to on.html and turns on the light. So how I can do that is by saying on click equals and then submit which is a JavaScript function, and then semicolon. So now if we click it, then it'll submit this form and go to on.html, which in turn will turn on the light. Now we just have to do the same thing for on.html. This was for off.html. So for simplicity, I'm just gonna copy this whole form tag so that, I, so that I don't have to retype it, and I'll go to on.html. And here, instead of this label tag, we'll just paste it in because it's the exact same content. So we have the form action is on.html. Instead of on, it should be off because right now, if they click it, they want to turn off the light. And on click is submit. And we also want to do this. Since the button is by default 
off, we want to, for on.html, we want the button to be by default on. So how we can do that is by saying checked equals true. Now if we go to on.html, then by default, the button will be on. Okay, now let's save it. And oh wait, I have to add this. Now we're ready to run our code. The only thing I did different was I changed application.py to app.py. So let's go to our terminal so that we can run our Flask web application. So let me go to terminal. And here, it opened it up. The first thing I want to do is go to my desired directory. So I'll say cd flask app. And now I want to set my environment variable so that Flask knows which program it should run. So I'll say set Flask underscore app, app in all caps, and then equal to, sorry, equal to app.py. All right, now if we press enter, now it knows which program it should run. Now we can simply just say Flask run. And here it's deploying it on this server. So I'm just going to say open URL and it'll open it up here. So it's saying not found. That's because we didn't define a default route. So I'll say slash on. And now it turned on our uh, LED light. But if I click this button, then it says not found. Oh, I know why. It's saying it's going to off.html. Instead, it should just go to the off route. Let's fix that problem. All right, so I'll just go back to our code. And here, let's first fix off.html. It's going to on.html. Instead of that, it should go to the on route. So instead of on.html, I'll just say slash on. This will go to our on route instead of on.html. So let's save this and vice versa for on.html. Instead of off.html, it should be slash off, which goes to the route. That'll turn off our program. Now let's save this and we can run it again. So I'll go back to RAS, uh, our terminal, sorry, and I'll do flask run again. Okay, so it's running on our server. So if I go back here and I'll go to slash on instead. Okay, now it works and it turned on our LED. And if I click this, then it works as a charm. It turns off the LED. Now if I click it again, then it turns on our LED. Okay, that worked. We implemented a very simple button here, but real world projects may include other things along with this. And also, we had simple HTML implementation to turn the button on and off, whereas there are many other ways such as using JavaScript to turn it on and off. We'll continue to explore other technologies. Thanks very much for watching. If y'all had any doubts, please comment down below. I'd love to help you out if you're stuck with any Flask or Raspberry Pi questions or issues. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Until then, you can learn anything.